Friends, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a heart cataract. Nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 4 or grade 4 plus. Let us observe the surgical steps. The main incision has been made. One side port on the right side has been made. This is another side port on the left side of the main incision. And now, I want to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. I usually inject an air bubble. Beneath this air bubble, I inject 0.06% tripan blue dye. The dye should touch on all parts of the anterior capsule. I wait only 5-6 seconds and then I wash out the dye with BSS. In this case, the people has dilated very nicely. 2% SPMC has been injected. And now capsular excess is to be done. I incise the anti-capsule with a 26 case band needle. Raise a flap like this. Now I hold the flap with uterta forceps. Lift the anterior leaf of the main incision while I move the ureter all around and this prevents leakage of viscoelastic substance through the main incision. The rexis is done. It's an adequate sized rexis. Now hydro dissection. This is 27 gauge cannula. Small alicots of BSS are injected at multiple points. The nucleus is depressed and the nucleus is rotated. And now you are going to see my technique, what I call submarine chop. It is similar to woodcutter's technique, but in woodcutter's technique, the chopper engages the opposite equator first. But here, the chopper just supports the anterior surface of the lens. The teeth is buried totally into the substance of the nucleus. It moves through the substance as a submarine moves through water. And as I reach near the opposite equator, I use the chopper along the axis of the FECO handpiece because in that axis already a crack happens. And I, then I rotate 180 degree and along that crack I divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. Each heminucleus is again chopped in the same way going through the heminucleus. Going through the heminucleus or group through the lens matter means I am at a deeper plane. I can hold the nucleus very firmly. The tip is nicely occluded and I can divide the heminucleus or any fragment very confidently. Now each nuclear fragment is being emulsified with ultrasonic energy. I'm in continuous mode. I'm in FECO2 mode from the very beginning where the FECO power in this case was 80%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now in this case, the two pieces are, yes, little attachment is there and I could separate that. Now each nuclear fragment is being emulsified and removed. Since I'm in continuous mode, I apply energy only when the tip is occluded. Now, during this last piece, I found that the posterior capsule is not very far. It is just below the piece. So, what I did is I came out at this time. 
inject viscoelastic substance I had hyalurcot which is a combination of chondroitin sulfate and sodium hyaluronate I want to use that to push the posterior capsule behind towards the vitreous cavity this is hyalurcot and now I'm going again with the hand piece and at this time I don't want to use the chopper because if I use the chopper there will be leakage through the sideboard followability will be less and the posterior capsule will tend to come forward again so very slowly I remain at the center and emulsify this piece and now um, I have cleaned the cortex and then this is a foldable intraocular lens being placed in the capsular bag the ACE was formed ACE was kept formed by irrigation and the lens is implanted we can call this hydro implantation and now the side ports are hydrated means the stroma on either side of these stab wounds are hydrated stroma thickens and these stab incisions close they become watertight and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber friends this technique this submarine chop is not very difficult if the cataract is on the harder side you can try this thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.